Today on How to Drink, I'm talking about margaritas, canned margaritas, as part two of my series on canned cocktails. We did canned old fashions, now we're doing canned margaritas, and I thought I should dress for the part. My wife said, what in God's name does that outfit have to do with margaritas? And all I can say about that man is parents just don't understand. That's a Will Smith reference. It has nothing to do with what I'm talking about, but I did just physically, just now, shoot the one on canned old fashions, so I'm in, I'm in the danger zone. <laughs> It's no living in the danger zone. It's highway, highway to the danger zone. Highway to the danger zone. What do you mean living in the danger zone? That's a completely different... <sighs> We're going to do canned margaritas today. I got seven of them. In fairness, I just did a bunch of canned old fashions. I don't know if I'm going to get through all seven right now. I gotta think about my health, friends. Friends, friends, I love you, but I gotta think about my health. So maybe I'll get through all seven, we'll try. But I think first up, I gotta make a margarita baseline to have for comparison. So um, I got a margarita glass right here. I'm gonna salt half the rim. Ooh, that salt really grabs. That's a lot of salt. All right, we got that salted up. Let's get a shaker here. We'll try it. This is not my favorite juicer. I don't know about this juicer. This is not, this is one of those real shallow dish aluminum, cast aluminum juicers. I hate this juicer. God damn. God damn this juicer to hell. Horse feathers. My grandmother would always say horse feathers. See, my grandmother was a burlesque dancer. So she had acquired all of these like expressions that they had to use while they were performing live in their comedy bits. Cause a lot of it was comedy and like horse feathers instead of horse shit. You couldn't say horse shit. Uh, you couldn't say Jesus Christ. You couldn't say that in Kansas, but you could say cheese and crackers. All right, an ounce of lime juice. Took me forever to get there, but I got there. Ah, ah, One ounce of curacao. This is a reposado margarita, and you know I'm just making a margarita the way I like to make a margarita when I'm not thinking about making a margarita. How does that sound? Okay, we all have that. That's fine. That's acceptable. Now, some people say, Greg, you should add a little simple syrup to your margaritas. Maybe, you know? Maybe. I personally don't think a margarita needs any simple. I just don't. I think an old fashioned needs more than a lot of people, other people think that it does. I think a margarita doesn't need it at all. I think a drop of simple, you know, and I will, I'll do it. I'll do it for, for you, for you, just for you. I'll put a little, a little something extra. Put a little something extra on there. Oh, just a little boss boom. There it is, a little something sweet. But traditionally a margarita does not call for simple at all. It's the, it gets sweetness from a uh, curacao or from triple sec or whatever you're gonna use. And let's uh, put some ice in here and shake it up. Let's put that into this glass. I think I should do more costumes on the show in general. I have a dramatic soul. Really just like let my freak flag fly. That's what I'm thinking. Here we go. This is a, uh, a margarita. I don't know why I'm giving you tasting notes on my margarita. Ooh, that's good. Ooh, refreshing, tart really just mellow 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 well, just a hint of that like tequila herbaceousness um with just the right amount of salt and lime and like that that balance from the curacao against the the lime the bitterness of the lime juice makes your mouth salivate actually like in a really pleasant way this is a great phenomenal i'm very proud of this margarita you know what? I might be coming around on that little bar spoon of simple syrup. That might actually be pretty good. Well, there's our standard. That's what we're comparing against. Right after this, we're going to be moving on to cut water tequila margarita. But uh, I will see you after this message from today's sponsors. Yeah! Hey guys, I'm on vacation and wouldn't you know it, but I forgot to pack my swim trunks, my watch, batteries for the baby monitor and flip flops. But you know what I didn't forget to pack? couple boxes of Magic Spoon cereal. And it's not just because they're the sponsor of this episode, which they are, and thank you, Magic Spoon, but because I genuinely love this stuff. This cereal reinvented, don't mind the recycled close-ups on this one because I also forgot to pack the rig that does those. Anyway, it comes in eight flavors, cocoa, fruity, frosted, peanut butter, blueberry, cinnamon, maple waffle, and cookies and cream. And when you order, you can custom build a box of four boxes that you would prefer. 
Personally, I go frosted, cocoa, fruity, and cocoa again, but that's just me. The thing that blows my mind about this stuff is that it tastes exactly like the cereals of your youth, except that there's zero grams of sugar in it, 13 or 14 grams of protein per serving, and only four net carbs and 140 calories per serving. This spoon is indeed magic. In fact, they're so confident in their magical nature that they offer a 100% happiness guarantee. If you don't like it for any reason, they'll refund your money, no questions asked. Click the link below and use my code at checkout to get $5 off your order. All right, I'm gonna keep enjoying this bowl of fruity magic spoon while you guys get back to the show. So let's move along to Cutwater Lime Tequila Margarita from San Diego. It's gluten-free, 12 and a half. Holy goddamn shit. This is 12 and a half percent alcohol by volume. Now, my favorite canned cocktail is Fisher's Island Lemonade. It, it has no relationship to any real cocktail I know, but it is strong as hell and tastes delicious. This is 12 and a half percent. The Fisher's Island is 9 percent. 12 and a half percent. This is rocket fuel. Cut water rocket fuel. Cut water lime tequila. Bold classic real tequila. Made with award-winning real spirits. Produced and canned by Cutwater Spirits, San Diego, California. Known as the most popular cocktail in America. The margarita, I don't know if that's true. The margarita is a San Diego favorite. Featuring a bold tequila aroma. Featuring a bold tequila aroma? Okay. With bright notes of lime and a splash of orange in the max. Refreshing. Refreshing. Refreshing and balanced. It doesn't say to open it up and put it on ice, so let's give it a try. On the front here it says cut water tequila with natural orange, lime, and triple sec flavors. Yeah! Whew. It does taste like tequila. It tastes like a lot of tequila. I don't hate it. I'm not gonna lie, I don't dislike it. There's like a lot of cucumber notes in this, honestly. This is very cucumbery, which sometimes tequila can taste adjacent to. And something about what's going on in here is kind of bringing it, it's accentuating that cucumberiness of tequila. That is tasty. That is really easy to drink. I'll say this. There's no like um, uh, 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 nutrition facts on these, but that's pretty sweet. It's not overly sweet, but there's definitely a lot of sugars in this. I mean, it has like chocolatey notes almost. It's very tasty. It's like a chocolate cucumber lime tequila thing. How is it as a margarita? Mmm, not bad. I, I think that this is still probably better. Yeah, hell yeah. But this is pretty good. This is Reyes. Oh boy. <laughs> so this is a brand called Ready to Party. <laughs> Ready to Party. Reyes y Cor Corbodas. I'm sorry, Corbardes. Reyes y Corbardes Margarita. Uh, tequila with natural flavors uh, with carbonation. So, this is a carbonated margarita, and also it's got natural flavors in it. I don't know if you remember from our old-fashioned canned cocktail expedition, we found out that natural flavors, at least as far as old-fashions are concerned, not a good sign. Um, and what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to drink this right out of the can? No instructions. It's carbonated, so I think it's already held, diluted. I think you drink this from the can. It's stupid easy to drink. It tastes like a soft drink. It is sweet and light and bubbly. I don't taste tequila in here at all. Honestly, if you told me this was an orange soda, I would believe you. I would believe you. This tastes like um, like a San Pellegrino orange soda, like one of those Ancianos or whatever they are. It's like a, like a strawberry or floral element at the end there. What is the alcohol content? 7%. That'll sneak up on you. 7% in a drink that tastes like this, that's gonna... That's danger zone. That's, that's risky territory, risky business there. There's not like a lot of evolution or... Um, um, are a lot of evolution or, or like, um, like, you know, it doesn't do a lot of stuff. There's not a lot of complexity to it. That's what I was going for. When I say it tastes like an orange soda, I don't mean like an orange crush. It tastes like a good Pellegrino orange soda, um, which I love. I love those things with the little foil on the top, the wasteful foil. I love the wasteful foil, but it's a delicious thing. Is it a margarita? I guess it might be. It's not the same as my margarita, but it would never be because this is carbonated. I don't know. I don't know. I like it. I like it. It's delicious. And I gotta say too, margaritas are a weird class of drink. And I'm just realizing this now because for a lot of people, a margarita is a frozen, like a slushy, like it's like a really unchallenging, 
uncomplicated cocktail that has no evolution that really is not spirit forward. I am much more familiar with these classic style margaritas that are all spirits and unsweetened and that are up, right? So maybe I'm coming at this a little unfair. As a thing on its own, this is tasty. This is really good. I'm gonna be pretty happy cracking open a can of this and being like, yep, that's good. If I'm trying to compare this to like a really like classic margarita, does it compare well? Yeah, not really, but I don't think it needs to. Like, I think it's still good. There's nothing in here that tastes bad. You're gonna like this. You're gonna like it, it's good. Um, Reyes a Colbardes. Not bad, pretty good canned margarita. Let's move right along. I have low expectations here. <laughs> Shake well is the first thing on the can. Fabrizia, Italian margarita. Limoncello, lemon juice, and tequila. 7% to alcohol. I wonder if 7% is like the magic number for canned margaritas. Uh-oh. Well, that's well shook, huh? <laughs> Good thing this one isn't carbonated. 100% all natural. That means nothing. No preservatives. I would expect there not to be. You don't need to preserve something that's been pasteurized and canned. It's not necessary. That's the process of canning. Preserves it. It's great to put no preservatives on there and all natural. Lucky strikes is toasted. Anyway, yeah, so this refreshing ready-to-drink cocktail is handcrafted with Fabrizia Limoncello tequila. Oh, no, Fabrizia Limoncello, comma, tequila, and fresh squeezed lemon juice from sweet Sicilian lemons. Ooh. No added preservatives. Shake well and enjoy. Hashtag live like zesty. I like that. Okay, let's try it. Here we go, Fabrizia. Makers of fine box wines. This is bad. It is a flat, weak lemonade. That's all it tastes like. It tastes nothing like a margarita at all. It is not exciting or enjoyable or fun. Um, in all of the ways that the Reyes y Cor... Cor I am so sorry, guys. In all of the ways that the Reyes y Corbadas margarita is good, this is bad. This tastes like what I always imagined Boku to taste like. All natural flavors. You guys remember Boku? No wonder I need a Boku. Juice box for grown-ups. We're adults, we can choose. Not great. I have nothing to say about it. I have nothing to say about it. It tastes like a fake, bad, flat, weak-ass lemonade. I'm very sorry, but that's what it tastes like. Stuff it in the corner, put it away. Oh, well, we should have a place of shame. Where's the shame spot for the cocktails? I don't care. So this is Post Meridian. The real lime juice margarita. 100 milliliters, 27, 27.5% alcohol by volume. That font makes that 27 hard to read when you've had a few drinks. Uh, made with silver tequila, one and two thirds of an ounce. One and two thirds. Orange curacao, one ounce. 100% real lime juice. Shake a can, pour over ice. Okay, so we've got our can of margarita. Um, I really love these tiny cans. I just, I love them so much. I love that they put their actual spec on the can. I think that's really cool. Even if you don't like the results, even if you don't like this margarita, you gotta respect that. Um, shake the can, pour it over ice. Margaritas without real lime juice, just wrong. We make it right. 55 proof. Okay, fine. I'll put an ice cube in here. Cracker open. There it is. One real lime juice margarita. Post Meridian Margarita in a outrageous piece of glassware. Now that tastes like a margarita. It really does. A different margarita, but a margarita. I should have salted the rim, honestly. Would have been good with a little salt. Here's the salt. Oh man, really good with the salt. There's some bubblegum notes that show up and disappear. You will find that in tequila sometimes, just like in a whiskey. It tastes like tequila. It tastes like a margarita. This is a good margarita in a can. I, I, it's hard to find objections to this. The only thing it's missing from it is the aerated kind of snap from shaking, which is impossible in a can. I mean, I wonder if there's a way to use one of those, like, you know, those, like, um, the Guinness gadgets that, like, have the nitrogen in it or something, or, like, a CO2 version of that to kind of, like, whoosh, flash aerate everything before you pour it. But this is really close. I mean, if you shook this, it would dilute too much, unfortunately. But it is... It does, like, it's missing the textural elements of shaking. That is the only thing that's missing from this drink. Otherwise, it tastes like a fresh, limey, good margarita. Um, although maybe a margarita that's not made with my favorite tequila, to be perfectly honest. I do prefer this Fortaleza Reposado. It's a little brasher, a little less refined, if I miss. 
Yeah, okay, sure. So I prefer mine. But this is a pretty close second. And that is this one. So this is Post Meridian. This is available on Kiriata. You can use the link in the pinned comment below to check that out. Also, I think Kiriata's probably got a few of these other ones as well, hopefully. And if any of them turn out to be good, maybe you can order them there. This is On The Rocks Premium Cocktails, the Margarita. Triple sec and natural flavors. This is only 20% alcohol, 40 proof. Pour over ice, okay. Pour over ice. This is a red lobster glass. And I know that because I did an episode on a red lobster, Dugarita. And a funny thing about that, I found the lady who makes these glasses in order to order them. And the way she answered the phone was, how did you get this number? And the answer was, I'm a professional. Let's put some ice in it and make a margarita. So I'm gonna drop an ice cube in here and I'm gonna pour some on the rocks. Premium cocktails, the margarita. And a one, and a two, and a three. This tastes fake. There's something very artificial tasting about this right away. It has a Sour Patch Kids kind of citrusiness to it that tastes very like, like that's not real. And that kind of buries all the other flavors that are in there. And you kind of get this like ghost of tequila. This like, is there tequila in there? Yeah, I mean, there's something that tastes like the echo of tequila, but it's so deep underneath this citric acid from this like, um, like Sour Patch Kids, like straight up Sour Patch Kids. It's not bad tasting. It's actually pretty drinkable. As a margarita, it is not a very good margarita. As a cocktail, it's not a very good cocktail, but it does not taste bad. You know, I should explain myself here because what I'm saying is when people say like, hey, does it taste good or does it taste bad? And I'm like, it tastes okay, I would drink this, but it's a bad cocktail. What the heck do I mean? That's a really, that's a weird thing, I guess. A cocktail like a margarita, a classic cocktail, really should feature and accentuate its tequila. Um, it should put that on a pedestal and it should be balanced and it should have evolution. The flavor profile of that sip should take you through a few steps before it gets to its end. It should have an evolution. And a good margarita does, especially when you have a little salt in the room, man. It's a drinkable drink. And it's like, what is it, 12 and a half percent alcohol. So I better stop drinking it. How many, how many, how many alcohols is this? Oh my God. This is 20% alcohol. Woo, bar, that's some fancy stuff. Let's move it right along. All right, so this is best tasting margarita, period. That's what it says up top, sip margs. And that logo, that whole setup reminds me of Thunder in Paradise. Part of the UPN9 action pack back in the 90s, starring Hulk Hogan and that other guy. <laughs> Uh-oh, it's a bubbler. Um, and it's, it's fizzing up. What does it say? Serving size, uh, one container. Amount per serving, 130 calories, eight carbs, Zero protein and no fat. Well, I'm kind of glad there's no protein in my margarita. Tequila with triple sec, natural lime flavor, uh-oh, and sparkling water. Sip Margs wants you to know it's the best tasting margarita, period, period. Margs, noun, a oh, weird. In the pronunciation here, they have the long A symbol over the A, so it's Margs. All right, informal slang for margaritas. Where are you from that you got, that's gotta be some Illinois shit. Margaritas, uh, a, a uniquely refreshing, easy to drink cocktail with just the right touch of sweetness. And also three, your favorite new margarita, no shaking required, please recycle. 5% alcohol, you drink this one from the can. It's a uh, margarita seltzer, I guess. I am hammered. No, man. No, man. No! That tastes nothing. Absolutely nothing like a margarita. There's, there's nothing margarita about that. Nothing. It tastes like a lemongrass seltzer. That's what it tastes like. It tastes like lemongrass, which is not my favorite flavor, by the way. You lie. This is not the best tasting marg. Marg, period. I don't taste tequila. I don't taste lime. It tastes like seltzer and lemongrass. Not lemon, lemongrass. It's not undrinkable, it's fine. There's no off flavors. But if your expectation cracking this can is margarita, you will be disappointed. 
if your expectation for no reason at all is lemongrass seltzer, 5% alcohol, you'll be like, oh yeah, that's what that is. That's what that tastes like. It tastes like lemongrass. It doesn't taste anything even remotely close to margarita. Let's move along to Fling Craft Cocktail Margarita Fiesta y Siesta. And that means nap time and party, but the other way around, party is fiesta. Made with American agave spirit. Uh-oh, what the fuck is American agave spirit? <laughs> okay, buddy. Neutral spirits, lime, salt, and other natural flavors from the Boulevard Beverage Company. There is something so deliciously kitsch 80s about the Boulevard Beverage Company's logo that like, they're getting points for that. I like it. I like their logo. It makes me feel groovy inside. They're probably going to get unfairly judged because of their logo. Okay, let's crack this some bitch open. And there's two little pinky birds over here. And I love them. I love stupid ceramic macaws. They remind me of Key West. This tastes like skunky ass weed. This is god awful. Oh my God. And I want to preface that by saying like, but it's also better than you would think. It does taste very skunky, but maybe you like that. Maybe I like that. It's not all that bad. It tastes absolutely nothing even remotely close to a margarita. It tastes like lime and my dad's very skunky weed. Tastes like my dad rolling a joint on his lap of the Ford 1989 Bronco. And if you're nostalgic for that kind of a vibe, you're gonna love this. But if you're looking for a margarita, you might be a little bit disappointed. Some people gave me a hard time recently on the, one of the various cursed cocktail episodes. Tastes like the, tastes like a pulp mill. Goes in for another sip. Let me explain something to you, my friends. I'm a professional. My job is to drink this stuff and tell you what I think about it. By God damn it! I will drink this can of skunk weed. I will drink the swill so that you don't have to. That is my promise to you. Yeah! The Fling Craft Cocktail Margarita. Don't taste like a margarita. So if you're looking for a margarita, I'd skip this one. All right, so what did we learn about canned margaritas? Honestly, none of these blew my mind. But I gotta say, that might be my own prejudices because my personal margarita is a very classic margarita. Um, and something like this Reyes, uh, Reyes y Corboda, Corbardes margarita is delicious. It tastes nothing like a classic margarita. But we also have my other, the other good one, the Post Meridium margarita was pretty tasty but that's in this little, 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 this adorable little baby can this teensy tiny baby can it's so delicious look at this little itty bitty baby can it's beautiful and you put it over ice and i don't know why i'm a suddenly irish but i am but this does break down its actual recipe and i think that by and large if you're looking for a canned cocktail a cocktail can that breaks down the real recipe that they're using I mean, that's unusual and a very good sign. So anyway, that's the show. I will be back very soon, uncomfortably soon, with another episode in which I will be drinking the wild cards of the canned cocktail scene. Canned cocktails that defy description. That episode has me filled with trepidation. Until then, why don't you check out some of these other episodes of HTD, because uh, I've been making this show for actually six years now. Six entire circuits of the sun of my life have gone into this show for you. So enjoy them, and uh, I will leave you with a uh, yeah!